Hey Elonites, welcome to the Tesla space where we share the latest news, rumors, and insights into all things Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk. Today is the day we're finally doing our first SpaceX video and paying homage to our little ongoing Elonites joke. Now let me preface this by saying there is so much to talk about. So we're going to do our best to cover as much as we can. But if you'd like to see more SpaceX content, please let us know by hitting that thumbs up button down below. Of all the crazy billionaire ventures that Elon Musk is involved with, SpaceX is easily the most insane a private startup company that has come out of nowhere to take over the aerospace sector, already surpassing legacy companies like Boeing and NASA in terms of what they have been able to accomplish with rocket technology and near earth space flight. Now, what exactly is SpaceX? Well, it's the most exciting thing to happen to space exploration since the moon landings. They're building the next generation of rockets and vehicles that will explore our solar system well into the future, and they're doing it with a level of efficiency that no one else would have dreamed possible. In partnership with NASA, SpaceX ferries supplies and now even astronauts to the International Space Station. This is a job that NASA has had to rely on Russia to help them with for the past decade. Since retiring the space shuttle program in 2011, NASA has not been able to launch humans into space on their own. It's kind of sad, really, that the organization that put a man on the moon 50 years ago cannot even put a person into orbit today. But SpaceX can and they do it for a price that is much cheaper than what the Russians are charging. SpaceX is also delivering satellites into orbit. Some of those are owned by the US government, some are owned by private companies, and lately SpaceX has been deploying their own personal communication satellites into Earth's orbit. 2020 has been the year for SpaceX, where they have cemented their position as the global leaders in spaceflight technology. SpaceX rockets and vehicles have successfully completed not just one, but two human space flights that have delivered astronauts to the International Space Station. On May 30th, 2020, the Crew Dragon spacecraft powered by the Falcon 9 rocket launched NASA astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley into orbit and docked with the International Space Station. That mission, referred to as Demo 2, was the first time ever that a private company has accomplished this feat. On November 16th, 2020, SpaceX followed up their demo flight by launching a full crew of four astronauts in the Dragon capsule. In between these crewed flights, SpaceX has been and will continue to deliver supplies to the space station using their fully autonomous Cargo Dragon vehicle. In all, SpaceX has made 26 successful flights in 2020. It's hard to believe that a private company who has achieved so much in such a complex field as spaceflight has only been around for less than 20 years. But that's how Elon Musk operates. He never goes slow and steady. He races towards innovation and then waits for the world to catch up to him. In the year 2001, Elon was 30 years old and had just made a shitload of money by selling PayPal to eBay. As the majority shareholder in PayPal, Elon banked a hundred and sixty-five million dollars from the sale. Now, most people at this point would make a few safe investments, buy a nice house, and retire early like a boss. Of course, being Elon Musk, he spent his entire fortune in three years and ended up having to borrow rent money from his friends. He was flat broke, but he did own three new companies. Elon spent $70 million on an electric startup called Tesla. He spent $10 million on Solar City and he dropped a hundred million dollars into a space exploration company. To call this investment risky would be a huge understatement. This was an insane idea to sink a fortune into, especially at a time in history when dial-up internet was still a thing. At its founding, SpaceX had the goal of reducing the cost of space exploration to enable the colonization of Mars. Elon said in a 2012 interview that the reason we can't advance in space is because space transportation has become unaffordable. It's become more and more expensive to do less and less in space, and we really need to improve the technology of space exploration, and that's why I started SpaceX. So now that we know how SpaceX came to be and a few of their accomplishments last year, let's take a look at what we can expect from SpaceX in 2021. 
So now that we've had a chance to do a quick summary on how SpaceX got to this point, let's take a look into the future and what they'll be doing in 2021. Crew 2 and 3, building on the success of their first fully crewed Dragon spaceflight in November, SpaceX will be sending at least two more groups of astronauts to the ISS in 2021. Starting with the Crew 2 flight in the spring, this will transport two American astronauts, one Japanese and one European. This should be followed by a Crew 3 mission in the fall of 2021, which again will have two American astronauts, one European, and a fourth member yet to be selected. Now this is a really cool mission that will be launched in July of 2021 that is essentially a real life recreation of the movie Armageddon without the heroic sacrifice from good old Bruce Willis. In this version, which I would like to emphasize again is not a movie but a real life mission that is actually happening, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket will be launching a NASA vehicle into a collision course with an asteroid. The mission is being called DART, which stands for Double Asteroid Redirection Test. This is the first practical demonstration of a planetary defense technique called the Kinetic Impactor. Basically, NASA is going to smash their vehicle into an asteroid and see what happens. The target for the DART is a double asteroid system that consists of one big-ass asteroid, Didymos, and its much smaller moonlet asteroid, Dimorphos. In October of 2022, the DART vehicle will smash into the smaller of the two asteroids at a speed of 6.6 .6 kilometers per second. For reference, that's 23,760 kilometers an hour, just a bit faster than a Tesla. At the point of impact, the asteroid system will be close enough to Earth that NASA will be able to monitor exactly what effect it has on the speed and trajectory of the system. If everything goes to plan, then we'll have a much better idea of just how possible it would be to actually redirect any large asteroids that might be coming for Earth in the future and hopefully prevent an apocalyptic disaster. 2020 has been a year full of testing for Elon's Starship project. This is set to become the most advanced spacefaring vehicle ever made and will eventually transport humans to Mars. But for now, the Starship only exists in a series of prototypes that have evolved from pretty much a flying grain silo to something that is starting to resemble the futuristic rocket concept design. The most successful test for the Starship happened just recently on December 9th. The prototype SN8 performed the first high altitude test flight. Executing a successful skydiver-like descent using high drag body flaps, followed by a reorientation burn and propulsive landing in the center of the landing zone. Though it didn't quite stick the landing, as a low pressure methane tank led to the SN8 hitting the pad too hard and experience a rapid unscheduled disassembly. It exploded basically. While an explosion sounds bad, this was never intended to fly up and land without a hitch, so as weird as it is to say, the rocket blowing up was not really a big deal. It was overall a really successful flight and proves that the Starship is well on track. We would have seen a test of the SN9 happen in 2020 as well, but it uh, kind of tipped over and smashed into a wall of the high bay hangar. So we'll see Starship testing continuing all through 2021, with SpaceX having at least five more of these prototypes in progress as of right now. And Elon has said that he is still hopeful that an orbital test flight of the Starship will be happening in 2021. SpaceX has a few moon-based missions coming up in the next couple of years, where their Falcon 9 engines will be sending everything from communications technology to remote-controlled race cars onto the lunar surface. SpaceX will be teaming up with Mastin Space Systems to begin launching NASA payloads to the moon as part of its Artemis program. These payloads will eventually be used by human astronauts when they land on the moon in 2024. An extremely odd project is planning to hold a remote-controlled car race next October on the surface of the moon. What's more, the two race cars will be partially designed by high school kids and McLaren P1 designer Frank Stevenson is also involved. The whole idea of this project is to inspire young innovators, allowing them to dream big and realize that nothing is impossible. Moving on from the moon to Mars. Landing on Mars was the original dream that started this whole SpaceX idea nearly 20 years ago, and it's one that Elon is not letting go of. 
the SpaceX CEO remains highly confident that his company will land humans on Mars by 2026, adding that if we get lucky, it might even just be four years away. This tracks with statements that Elon made back in 2016 when he said that if everything goes well, we could land people on Mars in a 10-year time frame. To accomplish this, SpaceX is making the advancement of the Starship a top priority. In June, Musk wrote in a company-wide email that the Starship program must accelerate progress dramatically and immediately. So we're still a ways away from our first Mars landing, and if Elon's timeline projections for SpaceX are anything like Tesla's, then we might be waiting a bit longer. But even the idea that we could realistically see a man or woman step on Mars in the next 10 years or less makes SpaceX one of the most exciting companies in the world. Make sure to let us know in the comment section what you think SpaceX is capable of accomplishing in the years to come. If you want to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it, and subscribe to our channel for weekly content just like this.